are welcome. Welcome to learn. Welcome to participate. Welcome to join a private discussion about knee surgery recovery and rehab. R&R, Knee Surgery Recovery and Rehab, a private discussion group on Facebook. Search Facebook groups for knee replacement recovery and look for the beach. You are welcome. Welcome to The Bee's Knees, a podcast full of articles, interviews, clinical studies, and advice about knee surgery, physical therapy, and life after knee surgery. Hello and welcome to The Bee's Knees podcast. This is your host, PJ Ewing. Okay, just in time for a potentially dangerous holiday, dangerous at least in terms of consumption, eating, poor healthy habits, uh, lack of exercise. Let's listen to some advice from a personal trainer. Sheila Olson has done a lot of work in this space in terms of work on diet and exercise and mental approach and peace and tranquility. And she offers seven habits for us, seven tools for us to adopt this holiday season to manage cravings and avoid gaining 10 or 15 pounds after this holiday season. The article is read by Carl Mina. This week on the Bees Knees podcast, we bring you a new article by Sheila Olson. The seven ways to keep food cravings under control during the holidays. Sheila has been a personal trainer for more than five years. She believes the best way to achieve physical fitness and good health is to set and tackle small goals. She encourages her clients to stay positive and incorporates mindfulness and practices for reducing negative talk into her sessions. Sheila created FitSheila.com to spread the word about her fitness philosophy. With the holidays just around the corner, the annual season of binge eating has begun. This can be extremely stressful for people who are trying to lose weight and whose junk food cravings become more pronounced during a time when delicious treats are everywhere. The following tips can help you keep these cravings under control and stick to your desired food plan during the holidays, throughout the coming year, and beyond. Number 1. Keep a record. Start writing down everything you eat and drink, as well as the time. You may struggle to remember at first, but you will soon pick up the habit. This will help you notice any patterns, such as overeating when watching TV or late-night snacking. Research has shown that keeping a food diary can double weight loss results as it allows people to form an objective view of their own food habits, not to mention that you're holding yourself accountable. Number two, find fast food replacements. The holidays are a stressful time, and in stressful times, many people turn to fast food. It's convenient, cheap, and tasty, and it keeps both kids and adults happy. However, it's not news that fast food is also incredibly unhealthy and high in calories. If you do opt for fast food, one thing you can do is reach for healthier choices on the menu. However, an even better option is to create your own convenient, cheap, and tasty foods for those days when cooking feels overwhelming. Crock-Pot meals are the best for this. It's as slow as food gets, and you can throw it all in there in the morning and come home to a hearty homemade meal at night. Number three, set a curfew on food. Try not to eat after dinner, as late night snacking has been identified as a significant cause for weight gain. The secret is to simply eat well at dinner. Don't starve yourself, but don't carb load either. Have an after dinner treat if you want, those festive chocolates aren't going to eat themselves, and then say no to any further snacks. Number four, tell your loved ones. Chances are, if you tell people you are trying to stay healthy during the holidays, you will get some exasperated looks and a lot of, go on, it's Christmas. Be honest and try to convey how serious you are about it while staying friendly and positive. They will understand. My Fitness Pal offers some great advice on dealing with this type of peer pressure. At MyFitnessPal.com, you can learn about how to role play scenarios that will be challenging. Let others show their hospitality in ways beyond food and how to respond to food offered with values, not outcomes. For example, no thanks, I'm trying to be a better me. Number five, 
Make your home stress free. If you're a stress eater, then you need to make sure your environment is as stress free as possible. Taking a weekend to organize and optimize your home can make it a healthier and happier place where you spend time, reducing your need for comfort foods. Also, try to make time for relaxation and downtime during the season, and this includes downtime from stressful family members and co workers. Less stress means a better chance of avoiding that need for a cookie when anxiety kicks in. Number six, get rid of the now or never mentality. One of the things that makes festive foods so appealing is its rarity. The holiday season is full of foods that only come around once a year, thus making it a ripe time for binge eating. Before you reach for some eggnog or a candy cane, ask yourself a few questions. First of all, do you actually like this? If no, why are you eating it? If yes, could you make this or eat it at any other time of year? If so, then why are you having so much of it now? Number seven, don't be too hard on yourself. Finally, this advice may seem counterintuitive, but it's important. Everyone overindulges a bit during the holidays. If you slip up on your eating plan, just start again tomorrow. Being too hard on yourself can lead to self sabotage, which in this case usually means giving up on healthy eating entirely until the new year. Above all, remember to enjoy yourself. Allow yourself small amounts of the festive treats you love. Focus on getting enough fruit and vegetables and try to keep stress levels low. You don't have to have a miserable holiday season just because you're trying to be healthy. In fact, you will probably find it a lot more enjoyable. We'd like to thank a few friends of the Bees Knees podcast, including the Knee Pain Guru, natural solutions for chronic knee pain without drugs, shots, surgery, or painful physical therapy. For more info, visit thekneepainguru.com. We're also brought to you by X10 Therapy. And special thanks to Dr. Justin Trosclair at the podcast, A Doctor's Perspective Podcast. I'm Dr. Justin Trosclair, host of two-time podcast awards nominated A Doctor's Perspective podcast. I interview doctors in and out of my profession about their specialties and the occasional non-doctor special guests. But we also go behind the curtain and see what's working for their marketing, overcoming struggles, practical knowledge, book choices, and relationship advice. Join me on any podcast app on your phone or visit adoctorsperspective.net for the show notes pages and free resources. I want you to have an abundant home life as well as a thriving practice. So come on, take a listen. Natural Knee Pain Rescue. Save your original knee with a habit-based diet and lifestyle. This is a transformational program that helps people lose weight, reduce knee pain, get healthier, improve mobility, and avoid knee replacement surgery. You can learn more at naturalkneerescue.com. The Bees Knees Podcast comes to you from our studio in Lower Manhattan, New York City. We're here week in and week out shedding light on all aspects of knee surgery and recovery. To reach us, send an email to thebeesneespodcast at gmail.com.